Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So today, I think what we're going to do is we need to go to another system, that's for sure. Um, before we go though, I wanted to check to see if we can actually purchase a little bit more of those trading economy goods. So we'll go into our thing here. I'm actually getting used to this layout of the ship already, so... That's good, okay. So we have, we can purchase a little bit of this. Let's see if we can't get it to 300,000. All right, so put that over to our main thing here. Uh, those can be moved over. And then I'm not sure if we should check the um, space station. I don't know, we just purchased some of it from there. So I'm not sure if it will have any. But we can give it a shot. Check it out. Okay, I'll put that over there. Then we actually have a lot of trading material. I put the other stuff uh, last night or at the end of the episode in the one of the uh, starships because I think we're on a loop where we just traded like three things. If uh, my economy thing is correct, so most likely we won't be trading the other ones for a while so we should probably do that eventually just so we're all caught up but um and i also have these junk resources in my inventory so we can refine those a little bit later on but um last time i remembered if you jump to another system the um items in the refiners got removed so uh i took them out and collected the resources that we did smelt so uh, we could basically go ahead and, um, what do you call it, like, uh, get it ready for when we do jump to another system. Um, as far as what kind of system we're jumping to, I'm not sure. I think it's like science or something like that. So we'll find out in a second once we get some more resources, if we can get those. But it's just right up here, so... We'll go in here, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can't um, get a couple more before we leave. Okay, so let's just go up here and we'll check the trade terminal, see if we can't get any more. I know it's been like D IRL, but I'm not sure if it's the same for in game.
actually a really weird system because on one side of the system it's completely red as you can kind of see over on this side and then the other side is completely blue which is like i just i could just imagine it with like 3d glasses because you can kind of see the the red and blue so i i, I don't know where about this is like the galaxy i think if we open up the photo mode yeah the coordinates are right down at the bottom left so if anyone has the game and wants to check it out if they have like 3d glasses or something like that that might be like a pretty cool system to actually go to so uh yeah outside of that i am just here to sell the a couple ships uh that we got last episode i think we got like two of them so we can scrap them this one's worth two million so we can scrap that one and give us some resources Let's see what else it gives us Got a, got some um, class A. Got a ooh storage, storage thing. We could actually use that for one of our ships. Um, that all these these components here can be basically sold to the station. Um, the tech probably just scrap the class A ones. So we'll sell this first. So we want to sell that and. Not that. This. Yeah. Alright, so let's get the um, other ship. Uh, I have to repair it up first because it's um, still a wreck on our ship, but uh, we'll be able to fly it over here in just a minute. Okay, whereabouts is our ship? Somewhere around here. There it is. Blending in it with the background. But yeah, you can kind of see how it's like, there's the red on that side. And then you go onto that side, it's all blue, which is really weird. There might actually be two suns, I just can't see it because of the rings. So we'll have to kind of, yeah, it almost looks like there's another sun somewhere over there. So we'll have to check that out. But uh, where did that ship go? Where is it? There it is. It's hard to see because my ship's red, my freighter, and it blends in with the um, planet over there that's apparently also red. So I'm almost wondering if the, uh, because there's two suns, it would actually make planets have more sun time. That would be interesting.
So we're on a brand new planet. Looks like one of those bubble planets. So we can scan some of these creatures. I'm not sure if this thing's hostile or not. Um, eats brain matter, so we probably don't want to be near that, tell you the truth. Looks like it's trying to warn us off, so we'll go this way instead. Um... Okay, we haven't got that either. There's a few other ones that we haven't scanned yet. They're all over this hill, so I'll we'll try to get over there. Oh, there's one. And there's some birds as well, but it looks like this uh, planet will actually be able to be um, obtained fully, so. Okay, so there's that. Okay, let's uh, take a look at what we have left. So, rare ground, got it. Flying uh, north. Underwater, and uh, so we just have one flying creature that we still need to find. Is there any particular location, maybe? Nope, just uncommon. So we'll walk around for a bit and see if we can't find it. I might just spawn in when we uh, go to another location, too. You never know. So far, though, everything seems pretty passive on this planet, so... It's actually a really nice uh, picture right here. Might take a screenshot of that. See if we can't find those birds. Yeah, I'm not sure where those birds are. Just keep walking. I'll come back here for the screenshot. Actually, I'll set the uh, waypoint so I remember. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure where. There's those ones, but. Oh, we should probably be scanning some stuff too. There it is.
guys. So, we got all the creatures. There was a um, big hostile thing down there. Uh, I should probably be in my ship. I don't know what kind of weather this is, but um, yeah. They were, they were attacking. It was a really big fish. I figured it would be where there was a large body of water. Generally, they are. Uh, the cave ones, I still haven't been able to figure out. I think it it's more random um, where the the, the large fish and stuff like that or generally wherever there's a deep body of water so I think that's kind of the difference but I'm not sure about the um, the cave specifically because it's just the way it is so I don't know you can never really find the rare ones they're too rare but um, I'm sure they do spawn because we have found a few of them but they're like way too rare so I don't know maybe the devs can fix that or something in the future but uh, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.